benefits of getting to do this is I get to wear boots instead of suits. Uh, the other benefit to getting to do this is I get to spend more time with my wife and my kids. And I know Michelle talked about it a little bit, but uh, I think my greatest political achievement will ever be convincing the smartest, kindest, most successful woman in the world to move halfway across the world to start a life and a family with me. So yeah, we did. And Anna and Eli would be here today, but she's 16, he's 13, and they're in school. And if he misses school, he can't play basketball tonight. So when we get done with this fantastic event, I'm going to drive 200 miles and get to watch my kid play eighth grade basketball. So yeah, we did a thing. What do you think? Should we run for governor? I grew up in Dickinson. I started my life, my family, and my career in Grand Forks. I've served in the state Senate, and I've started in the US House of Representatives. And when I was a kid in high school and college, my brother and I painted houses for my grandfather. And he taught us very early on about getting up early, staying out late, and the dignity of a job well done. I also had the opportunity to coach the American Legion baseball team. And I learned very early on that through practice, preparation, and teamwork, a group of individuals can come together and accomplish anything. But the most important thing I learned coaching baseball is how to take young men and teach them the skills to be great adults. I don't remember the record of my team in 1999. I don't remember it in 2001. But I know where just about every single one of the kids I coached is at. They're teachers and doctors and lawyers, and they work in their communities, and they coach their kids, which one thing means I'm old, and two, it is so fantastic and phenomenal to see. As a volunteer firefighter, I got to see firsthand what the brave men and women in uniform in our communities do. The first responders who run towards danger when we all run away. And why public safety and people in uniform are so essential to growing our communities and the sacrifices them and their families make in order for that to happen. As a lawyer, I learned to love the Constitution. And I learned to fight for people's civil liberties. And I got to see firsthand the devastation of mental illness and addiction can have on our friends, our family, and our communities. I'm a fourth generation North Dakotan, and I am proud to raise my family here. My wife, Kirstie, and I see the potential in our state and our people, and we are excited about the opportunities ahead. For the past five years as your congressman, I've been fighting for North Dakota and DC, I've had fought against federal overreach, a two-tier justice system, and a radical liberal agenda. And I have fought for states' rights, individual liberty, and good old-fashioned common sense. And there's one thing I've learned in that time. We could use a lot, there's two things I've learned in that time. DC could use a lot more North Dakota common sense, and that our solutions to our biggest challenges here are not gonna come from Washington. North Dakota will always do better when we are in charge of our own destiny. And that's why it's time to come home. I'll take the experience I've gained fighting for North Dakota and DC to increase opportunity and success here in our state. And I'm excited to get back here to work with people who are interested in finding solutions and not exploiting problems for political gain. North Dakota is the best place to start a business. Thanks to Governor Burgum and our Republican legislature, our foundation is strong. But to expand on that success, we need to continue to invest in our people. We need more teachers and nurses and skilled workers. We need to continue to invest in our communities to solve these challenges. Without teachers, who educates the next group of North Dakota leaders? Without nurses, who cares for our loved ones when they fall ill? And without childcare, how will parents of young children enter back into the workforce? These are all challenges we face, and we need smart, conservative policy that attracts lasting inv investment and grows opportunity. As governor, I'll work to reduce regulation, lower taxes, and diversify our economy. That not only helps the people in North Dakota succeed, it helps attra attract talent from outside the state. And lower taxes means more money in your pocket.
It means being able to set more money aside for a retirement account or a college savings account. It means being able to buy your son a new pair of cleats for a baseball game or maybe going on that well-deserved family vacation. And fewer regulations keeps government out of our lives and allows North Dakotans to make the decisions that are best for them, their families, and their business. Diversifying our economy leads to more opportunities for our people. It leads to more investment in the state and attracting new workers. Kirstie and I believe in faith, family, and community. I will bring strong conservative credentials to the governor's office. It's time to bring this fight back home. Because in North Dakota, we know what's worth fighting for. And we know with hard work, grit, and ingenuity, we can overcome anything. We have this amazing natural resources in our state, but our greatest resources are people. That's what this race is about. It's about our friends, our family, our neighbors. It's about making sure that we continue our economic success. Not because it's a number on a ledger, ledger or a state budget surplus, but because we know where we've been and where we can go. North Dakota's been through lean times. I've grown, I grew up in Dickinson. I graduated in high school in 1995. There, were no gro there was no growth. There were no jobs. There was no opportunity. If you didn't work for one of four corner businesses, you had to leave. Now every single student who graduates from any high school in North Dakota has the opportunity to come home. They have the opportunity to build a life, build a career, and build a family. That's what government should be about. That's what we must fight to protect. To everyone else, our ag production is about food security or the cost of a loaf of bread. To everybody else, our energy industry is about national security or the cost of a gallon of gas. To us, it's about baseball games and school plays. It's about seeing our friends and our family and our moms and our dads and our brothers and our sisters and our grandmas and our grandpas and our grandkids more than just at the holidays. For us, it's about a neighbor shoveling our driveway when we're out of town, hunting with our, fit, hunting with our kids, fishing with our friends. It's about our way of life. It's about celebrating the good times with friends and family and getting through the bad times with those closest to us. And you're damn right. What we do here is significant. What we do in North Dakota matters absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Agriculture, energy, tech, aviation, you name it, and we do it better than anyone else because the people who live here are the hardest working, toughest, smartest, and kindest people on earth. That's why we need the government to get smaller and do better, to unleash the talent of the North Dakota people. So that can, together we can continue to prosper, to live the values that make strong families and strong communities, and to ensure that North Dakota remains the greatest state in America to live, work, and raise a family. This is gonna be a great race for the best job in American politics. I look forward to earning your vote. I am absolutely humbled by the outpouring of support and may God bless the people of the greatest state and the greatest country in the, in the history of the world. Thank you all.